Storm Eunice hits the UK with powerful winds causing injury, damage and disruption. Now, it's not quite as dramatic as the rest of these scenes, but my roof was damaged by this storm as well. As you can see on this picture, at least seven tiles were ripped out of my roof and two of the hip tiles are ripped off as well and one's broken in half. Now that's pretty devastating so it's essentially left me without a functional roof and that's a, a key element to having a house so I needed to start something, I needed to start the repairing process straight away. The first thing I did was go up inside the loft and assess the damage and as you can see right in the middle there there is um, a patch where you can see the sky now that is how you know you have a hole in the roof uh, because inside your loft you shouldn't see the sky here you can see in this clip the roof tiles blowing off and landing in the garden in this second one you can see later on another part of the hip tile blowing off and smashing on this storage cupboard and you can see the amount of force that the tiles have embedded themselves into the soil with those tiles are sticking up out of the ground this is like hard clay soil and just imagine what would happen if that was to hit you in the head you'd be almost instantly partially or completely decapitated so what I did as a very temporary measure is put up some plastic sheets to catch the water in a bucket. Now it's quite a sophisticated solution but the way it works is the rain drains onto the plastic and then into the tub. So that was an okay temporary solution but I needed something that would last at least a few weeks until the roofers could come around and repair the roof. So I started measuring up uh, the one of the tiles that had fallen off but had survived to get an idea of what the dimensions were on these tiles and I started to 3D model a tile that I could then 3D print to slot into place with the existing tiles. You can see here that I've printed them in two parts and I've glued them together using epoxy and this is the tiles when they're actually installed in the roof before I'd finished printing all of them and you can see they basically slot together close enough to keep the rain out. And you can see here when it was actually raining they actually do a good job of keeping the rain out of the loft. A couple of weeks later someone was actually replacing their roof next door and I was able to get some of their tiles before they threw them in the skip uh, to put into to the roof to replace them permanently which was quite lucky.